Hello guys, we're Hoon here, back with another video, this time around guiding you through the 2018 St. Patrick's Day event coming from the 13th of March to the 26th of March, uh, like I said, in 2018, uh, where you are able to get this ally. Uh, and uh, this is kind of a little bit of a longer event. Uh, it did take me a few hours to do, but without further ado, let's get into the guide. All right, step one is to complete 50 one-star dungeons. And I would suggest you go to like the smallest world you can and just do it. Also remember to have your events uh, turned on in your adventures uh, tab as well uh, before you, so if you can't see this quest, remember to go there before you uh, start the quest. So let's step uh, head on to step two. All right, step two is to go to the permafrost biome and defeat 100 enemies. These are not specific enemies at all, like we have tried in the past, but this is just all the enemies that are in there. So if you can find some big dungeons or like I did, just run around on my ninja, just killing the random ones all over the place. Uh, it's also an option. It's just 100 enemies in there, which is pretty nice. I would say it makes it a little easier. Uh, so you're not fighting anybody for the monsters. So 100 enemies takes like not not very long and i would again suggest you go to the permafrost biome where it is like most of it i think it's like uh the third world or something like you get to or something like that so uh, go to the hub find the atlas go there and that is basically step two so let's head on to step three all right we are on step three and step three is to uh collect 200 shop stone and i would suggest you do this on a tuesday as this maybe this guide comes out or uh, the next tuesday in the next week i did this on the tuesday it came out of course um and it's pretty easy to go around just go to the candy uh, biome and basically like i'm doing here just uh, bomb your way through it it's not going to take you very long if it's not on tuesdays you can still of course do it it's just going to take you uh, uh maybe a few extra bombs or something like that and that will basically complete step three so let's step on to step four all right, step four is to defeat 25 bosses in the jungle uh, biome. Uh, I don't know why it says bosses. It's basically it's uh, just dungeons and it says that in the, the next uh, ones as well. Uh, but I would suggest you just go around, try to find some of the ones that has the canopy, which that means like you has the the floor above it as well because that has more density into the uh, world i didn't find one uh, while running around but again i would suggest you go to the jungle biome i think that's like you three or four no that's three four sorry yeah that's four and uh, just uh, go through it and just defeat those 25 on to step five all right step five is to fish up a jade fish pretty simple uh, you can go anywhere any water and stuff like that it also tells you in the quest where to get a fishing rod and and lures and stuff like that if you don't know that uh, but that's basically step five so just head on to step six all right step six is pretty easy as we have done it before in step two where you had to defeat 100 permafrost now we just have to 100 uh desert frontier so basically you just go through it as i do right here uh, you can also go through some of the dungeons some of the big ones have a lot of random monsters around again it's completely it doesn't matter which ones you do i would probably suggest you maybe you do it like just going through dungeons like take it easy i'm i'm rushing through these uh, steps because i want to get this video out to you guys as fast as possible so definitely just do some dungeons in the desert fr uh, frontier biome if you can do it like in the highest you can do like for example u9 if you can do that or just lower uh, because desert frontier is pretty much uh, a starting area i think this is like the second or third world you can go to so it's, it's pretty simple uh, i'd suggest you just go through these steps more slowly than i am but that's enough about step six let's head on to step seven all right, step seven is pretty much straightforward, like uh, step 
three was to uh, get some uh, some ores. This time it's infinium ores. It's only a, a hundred, uh, but basically on Tuesdays again you get extra. So I suggest you maybe do it there again. Like I just said in the previous step, don't rush through these. You don't need to. This event is for two weeks, so you will get out more out of it if you don't rush through all these. But uh, it's a hundred infinium ore. Again, go to the candy biome uh, prime world two and just get those 100 infinium on some days uh if uh, on tuesdays or any day you want but uh get a little bit more on tuesday so and that's always a plus so enough with me ranting on uh, step seven let's head to step eight all right, we are on step eight, and that means that we have to defeat 25 dungeons. I know it says bosses, but it basically is dungeons in the uh, in the ninja world or in the forbidden spires, as they also are called. Uh, again, you can do any uh, any dungeons you want and stuff like that. And I kind of think it's kind of confusing that it says that it has to be bosses because the mini bosses doesn't count towards it. It's only dungeons. And also, you know, this one I'm doing right here. It's not a boss in that sense, I would say. It's a waves kind of mechanic and right, but that also counts towards, of course, uh, the uh, the quest. So um, I would, it's a kind of a little bit of miss uh, thing. I would say that it should be uh, the dungeons instead of actually <laughs> saying that it's uh, it's 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 dungeons or bosses sorry and uh, that actually concludes step 8 25 of these and we're on to step 9 all right, we are on step nine and we have to defeat uh, 25 free star dungeons. And I would suggest you do this on uh, in Shadow Towers if you can. Again, you don't have to rush through these at all. So you could just go to a normal biome, just get them done in a normal biome. I would maybe suggest that is better. But if you want to rush them, you can definitely go to the Shadow Towers, just go through normal. I In this video footage, or this I did, is that I went through Daughter of the Moon, which right now in this week has the easiest way I would say uh and it might change for next week so but definitely don't rush through these not needed uh and that actually can just can conclude step nine let's do step 10. all right that concludes kind of the uh, whole quest we do have step 10 step 10 is uh defeating 250 enemies in the shadow towers these are also any monster in there you can defeat i would suggest you maybe do this on a like a friday because you do get shadow shards from all the uh mini bosses in there and stuff like that again you don't have to rush all these steps as i'm doing and i haven't completed this step yet because i want to save it as well for for friday for myself and anybody else that is on the stream but uh just 250 enemies and that concludes kind of the guide thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you one in the next one bye